Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the core traits that I've witnessed in really competent lawyers who seem to enjoy their jobs. And I think understanding this is part of the calculus in deciding whether or not you want to go to law school and whether you want to become a lawyer. This quarter I am in what's called clinic, so a lot of that is a focus on the practical side of education. The other students in the clinic and I are working on actual cases for actual clients um, rather than just sitting in the classroom and reading case books. So far it's been a really exhilarating experience and I've learned so much even though we've only been in clinic for about three weeks. And a lot of that education has been what it actually takes to be a lawyer day to day. I haven't really worked in a legal setting before full time, so a lot of my understanding of this will definitely evolve and change as I grow my career. But it does seem like there are a few basic concepts and traits that a lot of successful lawyers share. When I was thinking about coming to law school, or rather in the period in which I thought I didn't want to go to law school, it seemed like all the people who were drawn to it were very argumentative, very brash, very overconfident, and I think a lot of this was fed by the TV image of lawyers as well, so I thought basically that's what you needed to be in order to do well. Now that I've been in law school for a bit and you know gotten to know some of my professors, my supervisors at my summer job, and my supervisors at clinic, I've come to realize that that is very far from the case. So if you're thinking about going to law school and becoming a lawyer, here are some traits that will really help you get your feet under you and might determine basically your success um, as you enter the profession. Obviously this is taking for granted the fact that you like reading laws, writing about them, writing persuasively, and doing legal textual analysis. That's kind of baseline. No matter what kind of lawyer you are, you will be doing some of that. The first one that comes to mind is just a general aura of competence. You're going to be extremely busy probably in whatever practice you go into and other people will be counting on you, especially your clients. So one of the baseline traits you need is a strong sense of what you yourself can accomplish and a faith that you will get things done. Hand in hand with that goes reliability. So one of the core concepts is following up on what you say you're going to do, being able to handle a complicated schedule with a lot of moving parts, follow through on your promises. If you're not a reliable person, you're not going to be a good lawyer no matter how brilliant you are. In fact, most lawyering doesn't really seem to take the form of a lightning strike of brilliance. It's rather a slow or slower uh, methodical approach to legal analysis that really depends on the person being reliable competent and thorough. Organization is also a really, really key component of being a good lawyer. If you are not a person who is able to handle, again, a complicated schedule with moving parts, a lot of deadlines, a lot of discrete tasks going on at once, then you're probably not going to be happy as a lawyer. I mean, you can still do it. I mean, there are different levels of the profession, obviously, and different paths you can take that emphasize that more or less, but to be truly happy in the work that you're doing and to feel comfortable in it, you do need to be fairly organized on top of things and it seems um, not too bad of a procrastinator. I do have, you know, there are people in, in the legal profession who procrastinate for sure, but if you're the kind of person who doesn't have a sense of urgency at all about things, you might struggle a little bit as you take on um, clients and take on cases. Finally, empathy is an extremely important part of being a lawyer. No matter what kind of lawyering you do, whether it's direct services or you know transactional work for companies, you need to be able to see where your client is coming from, where the opposing counsel is coming from, and how the judge is going to see things. And that requires you to be able to put yourself into other people's shoes, to think about things from a different perspective, and to take into account people's differing backgrounds, perspectives, mindsets, all of that. So empathy and understanding are really, really key to being a good lawyer. So those are just some of the basic traits that seem to go into you know, being a competent, successful, professional lawyer. That's not to say that you have to have all of them in order to succeed. Plenty of lawyers don't, but these are just some of the things to think about as you're deciding what you want to do and what kind of profession will suit your personality best. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments as always and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. Thanks, guys. Bye.